Okay, so apparently a lunatic uh, posted an ad on Craigslist saying I was giving away a free TV. So I had maybe like three or four people come to the house today looking for a free TV. And then apparently they called a junkyard. I actually have their phone number. I have a phone number now saying that I was given away a caravan, like uh, that I just wanted to junk it. I wanted to give it away. So I had the guy come here with the tow truck outside my house. And he was like, where's the, the, the caravan? We're ready to, you know, to take it. We're going to put it on to the, <laughs> he had the big truck, you know, the tow truck. And he's like, <laughs> he's like looking at me like in complete shock when I told him that this was all a prank. Um, uh, the police are coming to my house again. I'm going to be giving them the Craigslist uh, link because remember, whenever you have to post something on Craigslist, you have to connect it to an email address. So, um, you know, they're going to be looking into that. Plus, there was a phone number that was connected to the person who called the junkyard. He actually gave a phone number. Whether or not it's a real number, I don't know. But listen, all, all you guys are doing is this. Let me explain to you. You're not hurting me in any way, shape, or form. This is, I find this, I'm, I find this stuff funny, okay? You know what you're doing? You're hurting people who run businesses. Like this guy, he owns, you know, a junkyard. He had a, the poor guy had to drive all the way here with his big, you know, truck. And, you know, he's outside waiting. It's like you, you, you're hurting like Americans. You're hurting business owners, that's all you're doing. I mean, I don't think you people understand that you're not hurting me. It doesn't affect me. Look, you could send people with food. If the food is good, I'm going to eat it. You could send people here to pick up a free TV. I'm simply going to just tell them there is no free TV. You could send people here to say, I have a car that, that I want to give away. That's a junk car. But you're affecting these people's lives. Don't you understand that? You're not affecting my life. So if this is what makes you happy, remember something in life. You see this cross? You see God? There's a thing called karma. And it's going to come back and it's going to bite you in your ass. I'm telling you, I believe in this. So you can keep laughing, your little laugh, like you're the joker. <laughs> but the people that you're affecting are just hardworking Americans that are just going about their day and doing their work. That's who you're bothering. You're bothering business owners. You're bothering uh, people who are just delivery people from DoorDash and, and pizzeria delivery people. You're not affecting me. So I don't know what else to tell you. If this makes you happy, if this brings joy to your wasted life, do it, but you're not affecting me. You're affecting these business owners. It's, I feel bad for them if you want to know the truth. I feel the, the guy was so happy that he was picking up a car. I'm like, sir, I, I apologize. It, it was a prank. I mean, you're affecting these people. You're affecting Americans. Are you even American? I, you, you know, I wonder if this person is from America because are you a patriot? Do you respect hardworking American citizens? Because you're affecting these hard-working, innocent American people. That's all you're doing. You're not affecting me.